General MacArthur's Sixth Army, supported by the U.S. Seventh and Third Fleets, lands on the island of Leyte. Japan commits nearly its entire surface fleet to oppose the Leyte landings. Their plan calls for Admiral Ozawa's northern force to decoy Admiral Halsey's third fleet away from its position guarding San Bernardino Strait. Meanwhile, Admiral Nishimura's southern force and Admiral Kurita's center force aim to catch the Allies in a pincher attack at Leyte. The plan falls apart on the morning of 24 October when airstrikes by third fleet carriers cause Kurita to reverse course. Halsey thinks that Kurita is in full retreat and opts to chase after Ozawa's carriers. But instead of retreating, Kurita's center force again reverses direction and heads towards the now unguarded San Bernardino Strait. 2.50 a.m., 25 October. Nishimura's ships enter Surigao Strait to find Admiral Jesse Oldendorf's task force waiting for them. In a hellish night battle, the Americans exact a heavy toll on the Japanese southern force. At 4.19 a.m., battleship Yamashiro capsizes and sinks. Nishimura goes down with his ship. Daylight that same morning, Kurita's center force steams unopposed off Samar, just north of Leyte Island, when lookouts spot Admiral Sprague's Tappy 3 escort carriers that have been supporting the landings at Leyte. Sprague suddenly realizes his smaller ships are in trouble. He quickly orders Tappy 3 to steer for a rain squall. This is the real battle that broke the Japanese. Sprague orders his escort Midway carriers to start. launch their planes for an all-out attack. Gulf basically stop them from doing anything. The carrier's outgunned defenders dashed towards batteries. the Japanese heavy ships, firing torpedoes and guns. Still thinking it's Halsey's third fleet, the Japanese line begins to crumble. Kurita turns northward. In the aftermath of the desperate action, destroyers Howell, Johnson, and Samuel B. Roberts, along with escort carrier Gambier Bay, sink with heavy loss of life. Yet their sacrifice has not been in vain. Sprague's Taffy 3 has saved the day in the Battle of Samar. 25 October, at Cape Engano, Halsey has caught up with Ozawa's decoy northern force and is pounding it with airstrikes when he receives word of Sprague's desperate situation at Samar. Halsey orders battleships and cruisers of the 3rd Fleet to reverse course and head south to Samar while he continues his airstrikes on Ozawa. Yet when these ships arrive off Samar, Kurita's central force has already retreated back through the San Bernardino Strait. By day's end, all four carriers in Osawa's northern force at Cape Engano have been sunk, including Zukaku, the last surviving carrier from the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. Halsey's defeat of Admiral Ozawa at Cape Engano puts the final mark on the Allied victory at Leyte Gulf.